You can bet in a heartbeat that I make quality videos. I spent $32 on this fucking bowl at the MoMA, and at first I felt bad buying it because it was so expensive, but I've had a terrible day today, and every time I look at my Lil Bowl, I'm like, aww. You know what? I can get through anything with this bowl by my side. Here it is. I literally get what Marie Kondo was talking about now. Because everyone keeps requesting to see it filled. That looks like a nice little soup. Ooh, that looks like tofu chili or something. Ooh, noodles. That looks like chicken noodle soup with uh, those little bead pasta noodles. Ah, that looks tasty. Some rice and veggies. Plus some meat, I think. Haha, <laughs> bowl of cereal. Pasta. I don't know what kind of dish this is. Maybe it's some kind of rice pudding or something? I don't know. I don't know how long I've been here. Time seems to pass differently, but the place is cozy and private, so I have no complaints. And whenever I'm hungry, I go outside with my bowl and walk down the hill to the shore. Sometimes the lake is made of soup. Sometimes it's huge pasta noodles the size of barges. Sometimes it's breakfast cereal. Sometimes it's dumplings the size of great whales. I dip my little bowl and take a portion and carry it back up to the house. Today I found a new bowl. In its center is a little hill with a little house. I will carry it down to the shore and fill it up, and whomever lives in that little house can have a tiny portion of my meal. I hope they have a nice bowl to put it in. This is why I love it here. This is flash fiction about a bowl, and it's adorable. You know how humans will pet anything? We'll create anything too. Plus one to faith in humanity. Reblogging with my besties tags because she's a thousand percent right. 